Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, my god! Yeah, my goat. Yo, what's up, Tia from Nation? It's me, the Tia from Munter, here again, and we are back with Clash with the Elite Season 3, Episode 3. Don't mind the light back there i'll turn it off later when the episode airs but uh yeah anyway as you can see it's already here and about less than two hours so yeah <laughs> like i said i now have a patreon you can watch this full reaction on my patreon already so um yeah and um yeah let's uh let's just jump right into this episode two ended volume eight in a hurry it was rushed so yeah i don't mind obviously but people do mind i mean there's crucial parts that have been cut so i don't blame them for complaining on those parts but like being toxic for saying that oh this is a disaster or this is you know like uh, the end of the world for a the <laughs> no it's not okay <laughs> because this just goes to show you because if uh, okay um if they adapted the book a hundred percent then that's just purely monologue people would be like what is this an audiobook this is why it's called an anime it's animation okay i already explained this on my uh review on episode two of season three yeah my honest feelings is that these are two different kinds of media one is a book one is a you know a tv show it's not even television anymore you know it's uh <laughs> so there there's two different kinds of media so yeah one is you can watch it and the other you can read it so there's two different powers there for the anime you can see the visuals okay and also you know uh you're immersed by the way they move by the way they sound like and uh yeah the animations, the art styles, is what's getting you hooked. But for the light novel, you're hooked. You are immersed because of the monologues. It's so interesting. It's so complex. And it's so different. It, like, the feeling is different, you know. Because you get sucked in the world in the light novel, okay. But you have to visualize it on your own. So depending on which one you like, doesn't matter, okay. If you don't like the anime... As a light novel reader then don't watch the anime it's simple as that but to watch the anime just to trash it is just wrong okay so yeah like I said I am loving the pacing so far I am NOT bored with the anime because I like I said have been bored reading volume 8 okay the first half was super boring to me but that doesn't mean it have to be it has to be boring to everyone all right so yeah, volume 9 was decent to me. Okay, let me set aside my uh, my toys. Yeah, here's volume 9. I bookmarked where it's, I guess, will end. Okay, so yeah, 165 pages will be adapted in probably episode 1 of, I mean, episode 3 of uh, Clash with TV season 3. So yeah, um, and then also, hold on, I gotta pull out my volume 6. Okay, I pulled out volume 6. So I do remember that they cut out this scene when they adapted volume 6 in season 2 so yeah that's why they included it here in episode 3 of season 3 I mean it's a great choice honestly because Ichinose it wasn't the focus in season 2 that was just a foreshadowing of Ichinose's character on what she'll be in volume 9 so yeah pretty decent choice I guess but um yeah because in the light novel it takes months or probably a year just to get to volume 9 you know so like i said volume 8 was a decent adaptation it wasn't the best um was it good it's it depends on the person you know it depends on people whether they like it or not to me i personally liked it but uh yeah some people no they don't <laughs> i'm sad that they cut out scenes like i said like the card game like a uh, koenji scene with uh, nagamo and uh yeah Let's just jump right into this. But before that, we cannot forget the comments of the week. 
All right, I do this every week now, so yeah. First comment of the week goes to at Martin Hemela5833. He's a public subscriber. Thank you. <laughs> because I can actually see that he is subscribed to my channel. Anyway, honestly, they adapted this really well. Then I thought, and making a C bond with the characters, I think the MVP was definitely Yukimura. I mean, he definitely was already interesting to anime only people in season two. But they really made him good for this arc. I love it. He is also my another favorite character in here. They really focused on him well and we learned a lot from other characters as well. Honestly, I will not complain about this. If this arc would have more than three or four episodes, anime only people would get bored of it. Uh, would get bored of it. So yeah, I'm satisfied with it and animation high quality. We do like when Studio Lurch tries hard. I personally agree with this comment. That's why I put a heart on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and yeah. <laughs> okay, this one. This actually caught my attention as well. Yeah, I don't know how to read that, but <laughs> yeah. At B B B B B L is that L L? I don't know. Yeah, M H two D T D rather. <laughs> This caught my attention, his comment. Now that I think about it, this season could have turned out way worse if Lurch don't cut content because it would take too long until we get to the good parts and the anime community will literally get bored. And as I stated in the reply, exactly. I was so bored in the first half of volume eight. All right, it's my opinion and I can actually see that people actually didn't love volumes of uh, volume 8 that much and actually so did volume 9 it didn't receive very well on uh people but uh, yeah but like i said volume 10 11 and 11.5 were peak so i don't like it being rushed okay i know there's gonna be cut contents in those books but don't let it get rushed and i hope for a very very good adaptation so Anyway, let's jump right in to episode 3. So, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn the post notifications on so they won't miss out any of my future videos. Switch uploads is on on the channel. And go check out my full reaction on Patreon. It's already up right now at the time of this recording. Pro I mean, at the time this up uh, this video gets uploaded. So, yeah. The thumbnail on Musasia, by the way, is uh, Susan in, uh, in, in, in Bath. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't remember this scene at all. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, without being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. By the way, last episode received pretty well. 71 likes, almost a thousand views. You know, it's pretty good, but on the... If you compare it to my preview reaction of the episode, that is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to let you all know that uh, thank you for the ones that are liking and you know, commenting. You guys are the real ones entering volume 9. I think by the end of season 3, I think I'll just surprise you fans of my channel and fans of Classroom with the Elite. Surprise all of you. If you continue to be the real ones in my channel, you'll be surprised by the end of my uh, season 3 reaction videos. Full reaction once again on Patreon. This quote is actually so good. Man never forgets what he wants to forget. Yeah, that is so true. Or the more you forget, the more you can't forget. Oh, wow. What? Is this the slowly look way? It is! What? No way. It is! What? That's so good. That they addressed that. Uh -huh. So? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, your girl. Spoiler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Personal property, by the way. Oh, so that shot was soon set there, okay. Tori ni narezu, chikiru so na hanero yo dasu. Bang opening. I'm vibing when I'm actually stressed for tomorrow. 
<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Damn, confident, are we? <laughs> You're gonna be fucking used. Sorry, boy. You're gonna be fucking used, man. <laughs> Yukimu. Kyopon. 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 イラタ君とかならともかく山内君じゃねえねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ね
されてどんなお話は中国に一度行ってみたわっ<笑>おいおいあの二人は友達なのはいあおっでいっすいしすとせれまあ間違ってはないなオッケー Hopefully, anime only s don't forget that scene, even though it's not fleshed out. But yes, they, still, they still do hang out in the library. Faithful to the light novel. The dialogues. <laughs> Hi, I don't remember this scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I want to save this. By the way, I want to save that. <laughs> I want to save that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's not like she just like. うん。さかやなぎ。うん。あるいは葛城か。なお。その噂の中に真実が含まれていると仮定したらどうだ。他の部分がデマであっても、それなら一気に信憑性を増すことができる。いや、一ノ瀬は否定している。おお、ウェイ
I don't think that wasn't wrong from volume six either. Like, I, I don't. What? Oh. Kamuro. Wait, that voice. That voice. Ooh. By the way, Katsuragi's VA is Ainz from Overlord. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Now I cannot unhear it. <laughs> Ainz sama. いちのせほなみは犯罪者である。うん。くだらんはそのここまで来たか。本人の目星がついているんですか?書き証はないがな。うん。ね、もう我慢する必要ないよ。What's <笑> Oh, Kamuro. Oh, yeah, it is Ayano Sakura. Okay, it's still Ayano Sakura. You guys have met in Volume 7 and it was cut! Calm down! Anyway. Huh? <laughs> ちょっと<笑><笑> Okay, yeah, this is the dialogue. Are and oh my god, the line! <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. どうして私が酒柳にこき使われてるか。その話をしなくちゃね。あれは約束式の後。I really love that theme song. だったら返すわよ。ほら。アルコールを飲まれるのですか。別にお酒に興味なんてないわよ。あくまでもスリルを味わうための行動でしかない。さっさと学校に突き出せばいいじゃない。これは私が処分しておきましょう。私からする。気に入り
わかった。End. Wait, no. I'm looking. Oh, oh, okay. So they ended it somewhere around page 146, 147. Around 145. Yeah. They ended there. I'm close enough. Okay, so it didn't end on, the, on my bookmark, but it was close enough. But、uh, yeah. So far, it wasn't a really rushed episode. Honestly, I'm honest here. Like, I don't think this is literally super rushed, you know? I think it was well balanced. Am I being weird again? That I'm the only one that appreciates the anime? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that is it for now, though.、Um, okay, so I don't know where they're going to start in the next episode. Since Nagum、uh, Nagumo, Manabu contacted Ayana Koji about Kushida contacting Nagumo. I don't know if they're gonna start at the,、uh, the meeting of the Ayana Koji group again and yeah, and then Valentine's Day comes in. Yeah, I think, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna speculate now until I see the preview, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's all for now, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Like I said, this is gonna be Ichinose's arc, so as stated by Kamuro, it's gonna be Ichinose, and because. The、rumors are spreading that she's a criminal because she did shoplift before. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.